Hello everybody, Paul Rostec, Master Teacher, Channeler of Healing, and you know what? This is a huge energy update. March 4th, 2022, and top of the headlines, Aliens Over War Zone? Hmm. China and Russia, maybe, you know, they've been pen pals for a little while. We're about to see something that's be, that maybe bring, bring a little clarity to everything. And then we have two suns. What does that mean by two suns? Well, I'm about to explain it. So, I am recording on a few different devices here because I already did this energy report. Okay? And... Wherever I'm going to try to put this energy report out, things seem to shut down. So, hope you guys enjoy the intro. We're lightening up the mood a little bit. We're raising the vibration a little bit um, because I have a lot to talk about. And I'm asking each and every one of you, um, especially, um, you know, if you're new to this channel, thank you for being here. Uh, stay to the end, okay, because this is... Um, this is something that uh, I have seen for over 30 years, and I wanted to share this with everybody. Uh, it's taken me at least two, three weeks to come out with this, because when you see something building up over 30 years, when you have hundreds and hundreds of visions and dreams all leading to this very moment, and you're watching it over decades, and then the time comes that it's happening, that here I am, I have, you know, all the support and people watching me and clients worldwide. And I have this little platform here uh, to be able to share this. So this is the biggest full circle I have ever experienced um, as far as my particular path. And the world is, is changing. The world is shifting. Okay. So, okay. So I will show these pictures on the, uh, YouTube video if my laptop doesn't freeze. I had it at Best Buy. I had the Geek, Geek Squad look at it. They figured it out. There should be no problem. Okay. If you don't see the pictures, then I recorded this from my cell phone. It doesn't really matter about the pictures. I'll, I'll explain it as we go. But it's just important that I get this energy update out. <clears throat> so two sons right? What's that about? Two suns. You know what? My wife took a picture of this sun and I'll put it up right now. If you're on the cell phone, you're not going to see this. It's a picture of two suns. Okay. If you look, one's brighter than the other. Yeah, we know it could be like a reflection. Yeah, sure. Exactly. Probably is. But that doesn't mean that it's not true. Okay. Especially for somebody mass amount of light workers that are extremely intuitive. So I remember one of the first many um, uh, apparitions, if you will, this is this is going back. I mean, I was barely 20 years old, right? I have never seen a full apparition like this in my life. And when I was walking forward, and when I walked in the bathroom, I saw this guy in like the 60s or 50s, whatever it is, and he's sitting up against the wall like this, and he had the cigarettes wrapped up in the thing, right? Who remembers that? So I, as I'm walking forward, I remember jumping backwards. Now, when I looked, it was the towels, the way the towels were draped down the wall, right? But I knew that that energy knew intuitively that to use those towels to help manifest its own energy without even thinking about it. That's how spirit works. Okay. So that little example I wanted to share to let you guys know that, you know what, you could, you could say it's a reflection and yes, it is a reflection, but it's the meaning of it. You're seeing in different directions. So here it is again. Look at how one sun is brighter than the other. And that's what I'm seeing with the world. The shift from the third dimension. The third dimension is the darker sun. And the darker means that the sun is running out of energy. Okay. 
Okay, we don't have to say literally or not literally, but I'm saying it. It's showing that there's a pull away. The light is what nurtures. The light is what feeds. So the the light is dimming. The third dimension is getting farther away and the fifth dimension light is getting closer. So you and I as individuals are experiencing a transition from the third dimension to the fifth dimension. So is the earth. The earth has a higher self and so does the collective. We're jumping from one ship to another. Okay, stick with me to the end here because this is 30 years in the making with this video. Okay, I'm going to give you some uh, predictions of what I think is going to happen if we stay on this particular trajectory. Okay, so just saying that when I know it's just a fun thing to see the pictures of the two sons is just a thing to, for, for you guys to realize. They give you a little bit of a visual of how we're shifting dimensions, okay? Even though we're on the same planet, you could have somebody in the third dimension, somebody in the fifth dimension sitting right next to each other. One person's in hell and the other person's crying with tears of bliss and joy. It's just the perception and the vibration that you are in is what you experience, okay? So China and Russia... Okay. So obviously we have this thing going on called the war. And I'll see how I'm going to work this. But uh, I've said in past videos, if you haven't seen my last video, it's the urgent update on my Ascending Spirituality channel, right? Just check that out first if you haven't seen it already, and then come back to this. Thank you for liking, subscribing, hitting the thumbs up. Um, you don't want to miss my videos that are to come. Okay, because uh, I will keep you ahead of what's going on. All right. Um, okay. So we'll, we'll go to my visions. So when you've had hundreds of dreams, hundreds of visions, and you're shown the same thing, but at different angles. And it was UFOs, extraterrestrial, Pleiadian, Arcturian, Lemurian, Greys, whatever you want to think of it as. Ships, thousands of ships coming out of the sky. I've also seen hundreds of dreams where the military was firing against these ships and the ships were firing against the military. And then I saw debris falling to the ground. So through telepathy, through hundreds of these experiences, from being on the ships myself, I have been shown what is to come. I was shown every step of the way what my life would be and where it would go. And here I am, worldwide master spiritual teacher, channeler of healing, with a platform to share this information. And the reason why I put this off for a few weeks is because I had to process this because this is not a video I necessarily want to do. It is, but there's a part of me that really has to... Um, process this a little bit because when I get a vision, when, when I see something happening, when I see 9-11, which I saw two weeks before it happened, when I, when I experience things, when I see tsunamis, when I see volcanoes and hurricanes and this and that, my job as a channeler here on, on the physical earth plane is to be the beacon of light to send healing, love, hold space. Okay, universal oneness, if it's not meant to happen, then I'm here on the earth to hold the light to transmute it from happening, okay? If it is going to happen, then I'm here on the earth to open up the light to immediately cross over the people that do die from whatever is going to happen. Either way, I'm helping. A lot of the time, it is energetic, which means the the spiritual energetic war that is going on right now is energetic, invisible to the naked eye. 
So now with this war, everything that's going on, there is it's it's purging. Check out my last ur uh, urgent update if you haven't seen it. Watch that first, then watch this. Um, it's coming to physicality. Watch my past videos too. I've said all of, I said all of this was going to happen. So, um, what I saw was again UFOs and military aircraft firing at each other and debris falling. I was also face to face with this extraterrestrial Pleiadian, whatever, fifth dimension and above being. And I was told to let I was told telepathically um, to look because I was pretty much hiding people around me under this uh, huge tree um, base under the roots. And I was shown this dome of white light. And telepathically, it was instant knowing that everybody that is of light, everybody that is meant to be here is safe. Now, the people that are dying in this war, think of them as volunteers, angels of light that volunteered to come down to, to experience this, to help shift the friggin' planet. Because this stuff has to be smoked out into the physical in order for the collective to stand up together like no other and say, fuck that, this isn't happening anymore. And that's how this shift of the world is going to happen. So, in the 80s, it was a Cold War. The Cold War didn't happen because the fifth dimensional beings and above stopped it. I was also to told if there's going to be another nuclear war, they're going to be here to stop it. Let's go back to my past videos where I said that the UFO extraterrestrial sightings are going to be more and more and more. Well, this, this new war escalates. I was also informed that uh, China and Russia could be getting together. Well, I see on the news a couple days ago, China and Russia, hey, there's a little, you know, thing going on. The threat of nuclear war. And then I see pictures. I'm going to put it up here. Sorry, not here. Right here. Sightings of alien formation ships over the war zone. Now, the reason why the human side of me did not want to put out this video is because I do not want to put people in fear. Because I want you to understand that raising your frequency, raising your vibration now, raising your light, raising joy. If, if you are being called upon ever, it's now. And that is to live your truth, to say fuck it to fear and all the things that have been holding you back, to live by example to to live now more than ever before live like it's your last day not saying it's going to be but i'm asking you to live like it's your la last day because if if you knew it was your last day you wouldn't give a shit about what your partner is doing or, you know, the stupid bills that are doing this or the little irritability. You wouldn't even care. You just take, oh my God, that ear is so good. And you know what? You wouldn't waste any fucking time either uh, with starting that new business or writing that friggin' book. What are you waiting for? You don't have to worry about what's going on out there. But it's time to step out of fear, 
Step out of oppression. Step out of the mental self-made torment. Step out of it. God wants to hear from you. It's time to kick and scream. It's just like birth. Placenta, blood, right? Blah, cold, light, screaming babies. Friggin', it's friggin' nuts. But then what's after that? Life. So this has to happen. But you have to stand your truth and speak your truth. Because it's the people that don't think for themselves and it's the people that don't speak for themselves are the people that bad luck happens, they become victims and all this stuff. Think for yourself and speak for yourself. Which means don't let your thoughts think for you. You think your thoughts. Now, I want to say this too. What we're experiencing in the world has to happen. And just like the beings that showed me the dome. That everybody, every light worker, every empath is safe. And every empath, every light worker is exactly where they're meant to be. Whatever happens is meant to happen is already happening. You know, the, the, the great force, the gravity of destiny, of universal oneness itself is, is in play. That's it. That's it. Whatever is in your soul contract, whatever is meant to be, it's going to happen. That's why this is the time to start your new beginnings now. Because the new shift is happening. The two suns, the new earth is happening. Don't give in to fear. Start your new life. Cut off what doesn't serve you. Live today like it's your last day. Now, if we stay on the trajectory of what's going on right now, we got Russia coming into Ukraine, right? There's going to be a shift of light. When is the question? But if you are in the neighboring countries around Ukraine, keep your eye out on what's going on. The shift will happen because this is the ultimate moment. This is everything that I have seen for over 30 years, hundreds of visions was this leading up to this now. That's why I asked all of you to stay to the end. This is this. I have to say this because this is 30 years of me experiencing this stuff. This is it. This is the shift. Don't be surprised if aliens come out of the sky. You know why? Because this shift isn't about the earth. What happens on this planet happens to every planet. What happens in this universe affects every universe. So nothing can happen. Darkness cannot win. Only light and love will win. That's why there's no fear here. There's love. Shine your light with joy. The triumphant time. The trumpets blasting. The angels singing. But there'll be a... Grand finale. There'll be something. There's going to be a dramatic Shakespeare's play. I guarantee you that. 
very dramatic place. So we're going to have to get all yay and friggin' threats and all this stuff. So if you're in the neighboring countries of the Ukraine, if it continues like this without an intervention, have a backup plan of what you're going to do. Have a backup plan of where you're going to go. And then have a plan B to that. The light is here. Everybody is exactly where they're meant to be. But my job is to make sure all of you that see this is seeing with clarity. This is not a message of fear. It's a message to alert you to say, have that, have that back door. Will you need it? Probably not. But I'm not going to go, you know, any further than today without knowing that I said this stuff to you. Have an out. I'll keep you guys posted on more. Okay. Um, but this is a 30-year full circle. 30-year full circle. 30 or so, whatever. 35, who cares? Right? 28. So, this, so everything I've ever been shown leads up to today. There are other things that I, I am uh, just deciding now to save for other videos. But I want you guys to understand that there's two sons. Okay? So the two sons mean you could be in the same world with war and you're having the most amazing life you've ever, ha ever had. Best year ever. How can that be? Because God has you in the fifth freaking dimension. Do you see? That's why there's no fear. Because you're all here to help create the new beginnings. You all have a dome over you. So relax. Say, there's no time for this bullshit anymore. What's not important, get rid of. What's draining your energy, Get rid of. Start that new book. Start that new business. Start speaking. Start, start thinking for yourself. And don't let your thoughts think for you. This is a time of massive abundance. The time is now. Okay, so love to everybody. That's enough for now. Thank you for sharing this. Let it be done. And so it is done.